All right, I'm going to take a break in watching the Warriors game. It's a play in ninth versus 10th. They're down by nine after the first quarter. So coming here to talk about footy for you blokes and, and ladies. And if, uh, if you really appreciate me taking that time out of my day, I would love for you to hit that notification bell. A little bit different. Make sure it's, it's it shows you exactly when a uh, when a video is posted. I think that's the you know a really good way to to keep up to date with all the videos that I pop out. Even if you don't watch them all, obviously appreciate it if you do. But uh, at least you know when exactly when it comes out, and that's a great way to do it. So there's also a couple of players I forgot to talk about in the other videos in Braley, in Atta Mariota, and also Kieran Foran. So we'll go through those guys first, and then we'll get into your questions in here. And then we've got three or four teams to, to go through as well in my download section. So, Braley at 461 to kick things off. He's priced at 33 now. A break even's 40. And he's one of those guys where, you know, when he, when he does play really, really good uh, minutes there, he's going to score well. He's got a 36, uh, two 36s in a row over the last two games. That's in 60 and 71 minutes. And we know that when he does play better minutes there in the hooking position, especially near the 80 mark. He has 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s even, and up to the 80s in his range. So price is 33. I don't expect him to score anything less than a 33 average going forward. He'll start to run the footy a little bit more, but even if he doesn't, I expect the missed tackle numbers to drop a bit. He has so many games there, 0, 1, 2. And those first two there in 60 and 71 minutes had a 3 and a 4 missed tackle number. The, the Knights have a terrific little run over the um, over the next while. Obviously, a couple of buys in 12 and 16, but playing 13, 14, if you need a hooker for 13, you don't have a Lussick, then Braley is a really good buy over the next few weeks. It doesn't have to be this week. It could be, but it could be next week or the week after as well. Out to Mariotta. I forgot to speak about him uh, in this one at 341. He's obviously just in the mid section there. He didn't get the edge jewel. Uh, so there were some people that got the... Um, Got the got the split, um, the double the the double position there, but uh, the jewel he was uh, not one of those guys. Low break even there, obviously coming off for fifty seven in fifty eight minutes. Just be aware though, in round uh, five he did play seventy two minutes in the second row and got twenty two points. So not every game is going to be as good as that one. He got two offloads, he got three tackle breaks, and picked up a try assist in that uh, game on the weekend as well. So not every game is going to be like that. But if he does get sixty minutes on the edge. I do think Sasagi's gonna Simi Sasagi is gonna play some minutes there. He could be solid, but I would rather personally go for Xavier Willison, knowing he's gonna be in this in that side longer term. Whereas Atar, we're not sure if he's gonna go back to just that middle role, 30 minutes off the bench, and get anywhere between 15 to 29 that we saw there with Atar. So a bit risky on that front. And then Kieran Foran, the interesting one with him, guys, is when he obviously plays halfback, he does get good kick meters. And if you're looking at that, obviously it's a long career dating back to, to 2014 but it's a 40 average with 182 kick meters so yeah it's not even um you're not even fully loaded on the kick meter side that's the most kick meters he's had playing in that halfback position on the weekend i do think it was a bit of an anomaly game that's the highest ever tackle he's made the highest ever kick meters you know fairly low on the missed tackle mark pretty similar to you know i suppose he's average at 2.3 in the half position he's a good defender at that but 22 makes for 2.3 misses he was way above that Picked up two try assists as well. The last time he got two try assists in a game. Let's see, look at 5'8 as well. Gee, he was all the way back in uh, round 19, 2023. Outside of that, he's had one in like... Ugh, he hasn't had two try assists since 2021. So it was a very, very outlierish game, 4-4. Four, four, and I do think he'll have a, a bit of a you know decent stint here. But up against Manly, Warriors, Melbourne, I doubt that they get that close against those three teams. And it could be a tougher kind of matchup for 4-4 for, for and going forward in my opinion. So like he's a bit of a risk. He could come out and do well and you only need him to hit like a 40 average to make some money. But, um, you know, Tanner could come back and take over the kicking in general play. That's for sure. And, um, yeah, that'll cause, cause issues for your side. That's for sure. Let's go through some of the comments in here. I'll give it a little refresh. Now that we're here. So we've got, uh, Joy Silver. Is Appy a sell? Egan a buy? Hold, I think on that one. Legend, thoughts on drink water? Look, I, I do think that he's a solid one, but make sure you have, you know, Ponga, Ponga, etc. first. I think with Drinkwater, but he's good. There's no um, no worries with him, but, you know, tough little run over the next few weeks. Totola, sell, lock and hold for a week. Either is good. Obviously, he's not coming back anytime soon, given he just had surgery, so there's that. Ah, um, oh, I forgot to talk about Nicker as well. 
Bloody hell, man. What am I doing? Nikara, thank you for the reminder. I forgot to pop him in that list. And it's funny, I go through the, all the names and sometimes people just don't, um, yeah, don't pop up in my brain. So anyway, let's look at the second row position. We've even got a um, little flash shower too. It's, it's been sunny all morning and it was really sunny before and now it's kind of gone a little bit dark and it's raining heavy and I've got coaching in, career coaching in less than two hours. I've got four kids in a row. So yeah, fun. We'll see how that plays out. But anyway, let's go to him in the second row position. He can get some really, really good scores, obviously. We can go back all the way to sort of 2019, 2020, and it's a 48 average, right? He's priced at 45, which is great. Last year, he hit a 52.5. So if you think he can get back to those type of scores, that's with two games under 70 minutes there, then he's got seven points of value, and I think he will. And he plays all the way through to round 16. So Britton Nicara, a terrific edge option this week, if that's where you're looking as well. Sorry, I didn't pop him in the other video but that's why where you get the benefit of checking out all the videos um, no stone is unturned so Nicara great buy buy that's for sure all right is RTS a holder worth selling to a bigger priority gun like Tohu or SJ been solid but don't see him cracking 60 anytime soon hold as he is dual I see him in a similar similar to um yeah Karaz etc so I'm going to leave that there. Thank you, Bryn. What do you think about Nicaragua compared to the edges you've mentioned? Surprised you mentioned him since his price is pretty much flawed. Yeah, I've seen it like, what's funny is I just forgot him for this video. I have been talking about him in in all of the, um like in the review video on the weekend. Like if you guys just remember as well, yes, jump in and comment here. That's awesome. Thank you for reminding me. But I've spoken about Nicaragua like three times since he played, um, well, last week and then a couple of times the last few weeks. And then after his game in that review game, uh, reviewing the Sharks game, I spoke about him and then I spoke about him on Monday's results video as well. So please go and check out those review videos because I clearly speak about that player. And to be honest with you, much of my analysis doesn't really change from that review. I looked at Nicaragua and went, yep, he's going to be a good buy, going to be fairly cheap after this. Awesome. So go back and check those out. I If I've missed a player at all, Jump back and check them out. I, I go through all of it. Duck or Duck Wang. Sup, Jamie. Good vids, mate. Thank you. I was wanting to hold Talangi this week in case there's an injury or even if next round he's named in the starting side. But anyway, do you think Talangi to Waddell Willison is a good trade to keep cash generation moving or Piakura more of a sell? Either is cool. 50-50 um, on that one. Both is fine. Um, to be honest, Knights only home game in the next five games stretched against the Warriors. The rest are away. Do we think this will affect Ponga's scoring? Not really. Not really. Thanks for adding the time stance. No problem. Shot thing. Why do you still have Taylor May? He's going to get like 25 points. This is pretty funny. I replied to it. It's not showing the reply. But um, hopefully this comment is enough for, for him to start scoring well. Burbo to Tola and Murray to Dillbags. Iro Crichton banking 150. You beauty. Yep. Winner. Winner. There on that one, you're getting cash generation, getting good points there as well. What is better our trades? One, Murray to Crichton, Tabu Afido to SJ and Taylor May to Manu, or two, Murray to Crichton, Tabu I to Cleary. So Cleary's not playing. Um, and Taylor May to Nickel Cook started, and just Taylor May a good third trade. I think hold the third and and do first two. Will work. Um, one more here before I get into some, some of the uh, teams. Big question for you, J-Man. Hey, man. I uh, can't pull the trigger on either. I want your advice. Arthur's to Tommy, Arthur and Tommy Talau. Arthur's to Tommy Talau. No. Bobo to SJ. Yes. Arthur's to Talau. Uh, I don't really like Talau. I don't like the Talau option. Option, mate. All right. Let's get into a few of the teams. So, yeah, we can't really make that decision, can we, if we don't like the teams? All right, into the PDF. Team questions. Not many questions this week. I like where the team is at, although I'm stuck on who to trade in this week. Waddell's an option, but I'm comfortable with my edges at the moment. Thinking Drew, Levi, and Talangi are trade-outs. Just stuck on who can come in for them. Probably lock Iro in. Yes, is Pia Curacao no real confidence on when he's back? My thoughts are I've held this, well, this long. May as well keep holding him. Yep, so trade in Iro. Uh, you got good cash in the bank, so that's nice. If you bring in him for Burbo... Your wing fullbacks are pretty good. You don't have any cover in the wing fullback position right now. So yeah, that could be potentially an option if you wanted to go for a good uh, wing fullback. There's um, yeah, there's a few around you have to spend up for them though. Hines and Fogarty's good. Copies Paul Crichton, McInnes, Cotter, May. Yep, so you're pretty well set for the next few weeks with mid 
and edge position. So really, if you want to go Burbo down to Iro, that leaves you with 100, uh, 240 odd K, which you could use, I think, Hutchison or Piakura if you want to, to go up. Piakura, you could get up to the Bloors, Plas, um, these types of guys. Hutcho, you can get to Britain Nikra if you wanted to go there. There's a bunch of options you can go um, with those guys. Obviously, yeah, I think cleaning up this bottom section, Talangi, Piakura, Hutcho, Levi, obviously you have Finefu Aki as well, Hughes and Salmon out next week. I think cleaning up a little bit of that works well. And, uh, you know, that cash you could use to go one of these lower price guys that's not playing or not going to do too well to a guy that, um, yeah, can do really well and is priced up there. So that works. If you went Hutchison to like a Bloor, you could then go one of your other guys to like a, a Plath or something like that. If you wanted to do go down that route there for sure. Let's go back into some of the questions. Should I get SJ with 194K remaining or Cleary with 109K remaining? So Cleary's not Cleary's not playing yet. Um, so you won't be able to get that one. I think we were answer, answering, asking questions before. Yep, we already went through yours, mate. Explanation of Chan's run, mate. As I read this before, he's just saying that the back three are always taking a run. Um, yeah, Chan just looks like he's, looks like he's stepped up um, because like he's been doing that pretty regularly. Anyway, the back three seem to, especially him. He makes sort of one or two runs a set half the time. Thoughts on Brimson. That was the other one I forgot. I'm bloody silly all over the shop here. There's so many players. That means I've probably gone through like 45, 50 players this week. He's at six and I'm not super excited about him in that position. We've seen previous years, he's been like a 30s to 40s guy in the 5'8 position priced at 34. So potentially a little bit of value. If you want him in your wing fullback as cover, I think it's really solid. He's either going to play six or one going forward and um, hands on the ball a bit more at six, obviously, than that at center. So that's good. I expect him to score better at six. So he's definitely a solid one. He's lost a decent amount of cash already. Started at 545, down to 479. Um, yeah, definitely wouldn't push you away from AJ. So that's a good one. Hey, Jamie, loves the vids. Just want to ask for which is better of two trades I've been pondering. I can either do Hutch, Murray, and Burbo to Iro, Johnson, and Taylor May or Iro, Brown, Drinkwater. Um, yeah, I think I like second option. Second option is good. I wouldn't buy Taylor May right now. He's still fairly expensive, to be honest. Levi to Wade Egan, Hutch to Sean Johnson, Flex to Willison. Man, you have so much money. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. Lock it in. Egan's going to be a fun one. Willison or Mariotta. Willison for me. Fox reporting is Sam Walker still had delay concussion symptoms. That makes sense. Thank you. Uh, Reese Robson, you're holding steady. Do not trade him to Egan. Hold. All right. Thoughts on Chester is covered for Gutho around nine and Strange round 10. I'll wait for someone else to cover the time. He is good for that. Lock it in. All right. Let's get into another team here. All right. Who else we got on the board? This one here. All right. Berinda's boys. Thank you, Rahul, for sending this one in. He's in a good spot at 4,774. He's been going down a little bit, unfortunately, the last few weeks. His general thoughts there, looking to use two to three trades to get rid of some duds and strengthen my bench. Lovely. Prefer to go after some value mid-rangers to keep the cash gen up and bolster the bench. Burb, Hutcho, Levi on the chopping block. Potential trades is the three of them to Angus, Jaden Braley, Chevy Stewart. That works. Hacho and Levi to Angus and Jay Braley. That's cool too. Hacho, Levi, Burb to Angus, Bloor, Chevy. Probably the third one. Angus, Bloor, Chevy looks good. Do you have any hooker cover? Levi. So yeah, maybe getting Braley could be good as well if you do on the hooker cover. Um, one or three is how I'd suggest this one, Rahul. But in a, in a good position, mate. Plenty of trades. Um, your next, you've saved an extra trade, which is nice compared to people like myself. Um, well, an extra two trades actually compared to those like myself. So good stuff for that one, Legend. All right, keep going for through some more questions. Levi Hutcho and Cam Murray to Iro, Waddell and Nico. Yep, that's lovely. Who are the top three players for making money this week and the next few weeks? All right, so that one is definitely Iro, Crichton, Bloor. Who else? Who's the cheap guys? Willison, Bloor, Willison. Bloor's obviously points as well. Bloor, Willison. Anyone else? Let's go with that. How long's Burbo out for? Three to four, likely. Um, Totola to Iro and Burbo to Crichton. Yes and yes. And yes. For Campbell's a sell, yes. Man, it's pumping down right now. 
might have to cancel training. That'll be fun. Not, uh, but Arthur says he's going to use Blaze for the middle if there are no injuries. So is Lussig a sell? Why would Lussig be a sell? When we say through the middle, man, that doesn't mean nine. Um, there's no chance that Blaze Salangi is going to play nine. Um, no chance. No chance he plays nine. When he plays, it says through the middle, it's like what Ponga did in Origin. Um, at nine, if that makes sense. Guys, so as the loop changes here, sorry, I'm just a little confused that they have to be in starting rather than 17. They don't. They don't. There are two options. Um, Rewatch the video. Right, because you can have him in 17 and then get the 18th man. That's that's easy, but there's more advanced ways to loop as well. Um, which, yeah, I went through a little bit in there. Thoughts on Cotter to to Tohu. Hold, Cotter is averaging 50. Thoughts on Philip Sami. Had a look at fullback stacks. Seemed pretty decent. Is a tough runner the next few weeks. Yeah, too expensive to be worth it. Um, that's why I didn't chuck him in. Uh, he'll probably be a 30s to 40 guy, but he's priced at the same, so not worth it. Um, scored two tries in five games at the back, five try saves. Wow. Two line breaks, 20 tackle breaks, six offloads, 17 kick diffusers, average 141 meters with 12 missed tackles, 41 average, but that's where he's priced. So yeah, that's where he's priced. Um, all right, let's get into our next team on the list. All righty. So this one here, jeez, you won't be able to hear that because the mic's good, but, um, it's pumping down. Right, the Verstappen's powerhouse. So what we've got here is a 30,000 rank. So we've got some work to do. Same trades as, as me available, 26. Hey, Jamie, what would your thoughts be on my team trades this week? I am thinking to do Cleary to Johnson. Oh, sucks when you hold Cleary that long. And you have Garrick in the team too. So thankfully you've got some, uh, and, and then Campbell too. Yuck. Um, Cleary, Murray, Campbell um, to Johnson, Carrigan or Harris and Chester. For this week, I'm planning to go for that the long run instead of the short term if you're going for the long run mate then cleary holding would be the play to be honest with you there um if you were to hold cleary then you'd go murray to one of those guys that you just mentioned just campbell down to chester you'd be able to do those two trades and still hold cleary and then burbo to kl iro would probably be how I'd do it. Now that you've held Cleary so long, you're at the home stretch, mate. And I do think that with Hines and Fogarty already, it's going to be pretty cool to have Cleary as well. You get some good scores out of him and then you can sell one of him or Hines come round 13. Um, if, if Hines isn't in origin, he's obviously a hold. But um, yeah, just sort out some of those um, other positions, in my opinion, mate. Murray, Campbell and Burbo to Iro, Chester and then Carrigan. Probably Tohu Harris is how I'd play that one, mate. Thank you for sending that in. Not sure if we have one more, if it's the same team. I oh, know we do have the fourth, beautiful. We'll get through this one and a couple more questions before we get out of here. All right, this is really cool. Thank you for, um, thank you to our, our boy for sending this one in. JBFA, pain in the ass as always. Uh, 7,827, the overall rank. Trades this week, Murray to SJ, Hutcho to Iroh. Works out well with 189 in the bank. Not sure on a third trade, Burbo two. You could go Burbo this week, to be honest with you, and keep Hacho for the one week. Um, that's an option. Pretty happy with the cash gen and now want to start going for more points to get up to top 5K. Well, Burbo, you could use the 189 to go up to a Plath if you wanted to get a good score there. That's um, potentially an option. Um, you can hold it. You can go for, yeah, the Willisons of the world, the Kieran Forens if you want to get funky. But um, yeah. Don't feel too bad about Smithy's trade out. I trade Turbo for Gutho. Oh, what? Turbo? What are you doing there trading Turbs? Okay, that's a mistake. <laughs> uh, you're with me though. You're with me. Um, yeah, he's got it down there for us, does he? What do we got here? Kaipi, Paul and Fogarty coming in. Karen and Lasik. Yeah, not too bad. He's got the smiles and um, sad faces too. Tom Trebojevic and Sitili for Tanua for... Oh my God. Talangi and Gutherson. It was all looking good, mate, until round five. And then Keeney and Piakura to Crichton and Chevy. That worked out pretty well. Um, trading in Terrell May for Cotter, that sucks round two, but at least Terrell May was good. So yeah, probably you, the only ones you want to keep there would be um, Cotter and Turbo. The rest are terrific trades out. So yeah, it shows that guys, you can, you've obviously, there's trades that, um, you know, you can make mistakes with trades. He obviously is looking for some better scoring now. 919 last week was very, very helpful. Um, in this one here, 
to, to keep him in the race and, and keep him in the top 10,000, which is good. It was a nice weekly move there for sure. And uh, it's a great way to look at it, guys, at footystatistics.com. Get your overall teams looked at and, uh, yeah, the trades that you've made. It's um it's really cool there. But also in your in their own old fantasy app there, you can just look at it in your um, trade section. So if you want to have a look at it on the computer is the best way to look. If you want to look at, uh, if you don't have the computer, then footy statistics on the phone is going to be the best. But once you get past this bit here, on the trade section, you scroll all the way down, it shows your trades. And I have max traded. How good am I? Uh, glad, glad I traded Asatili round two, but uh, Taylor May is the trade in. That was not ideal. Anyway, all the trade outs have been great, except for Smithies, McInnes, but a McInnes allowed me to, you know, I suppose I could have just gone, could I have gone Satili to May? No, I couldn't have. Um, yeah, anyway, fun, fun, fun. Just the Smithies one is, is cooking me right now. So yeah, thanks for um, that one, Legend. I think that is all we probably need to say. Yeah, you could do the third trade if you want, but if you're happy with the 17 that you've got right now, obviously you've got Galvin in the emergency five, and I think he's a clear play. You could play your know, Husey or potentially Stewart this week. So I think you've got a really strong 17 enough that you don't need to make the third trade, and you could do it next week and use the three if you really wanted to. Let's finish off with a couple more questions before we get out of here. Thank you so much for being here, guys. As I said, the uh, notification bell, the best way to to go through and um, yeah, check out these videos as much as you can. I really appreciate that support. Trading Cotter to Hines, no, no, hold Cotter. Don't know why people are looking at Cotter as a whole, as a sell when he's averaging 50. I'm late to Timberell Ray Train, but he's a must have. Uh, try and get him, <laughs> for sure. Try and get him, he's got so much upside. Murray to Carrigan, Tedesco to Brown, Burbo to Crichton, Ugh. hold Teddy now. He was a sell last week, but the other two are good, other two are good. Don't waste a trade on someone that can go absolutely bonkers. Considering Cotter out for Tarpany, no. Yes, Tarpany pops off through Origin, but you can... Cotter's, Cotter's averaging 50 and making you money, bro. Sorry, I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> um, just, yeah, Cotter's averaging 50. Just hold it. Like, he's make, he's got another 50k to make before he stops making money anyway. So, yes, Tarpany could score a little bit better, but trades are so important. Don't, use, don't do marginal upgrades. That's the lesson I learned the other week. Hey, mate, first year playing. Glad to have come across you and your videos. Definitely help. Thank you, Jakey. Thoughts on some trades for the squad this week. Hutch for Chan. Uh, not Chan. Murray for SJ. Yep. McIntyre for Chester. Yes. Yes to second two. To get Iro or someone that price um, instead of Chan. He won't make money on bench. All right. That's that. Let's go through this last one. As an RTS owner, I'm starting to get itchy feet. Even at fullback, he couldn't break, and he played really well. There's a lot of money tied up there that could help me get to a gun. You could, but dual position, dual and scoring solid. Like, I don't know. There's a reason you bought him in the first place. I thought this is what he was going to score the entire year, so I think by this point, you just hold. Um, Snakey, yes to that one. Trade Flegler for Smithies or Bloor. Thinking Hacho, RTS, and Burbo to Angus, Bloor, and Iro. Ugh. Just do, do the second two. Just do two. Hold RTS, in my opinion. They have a really nice run coming up, guys. Remember as well. Um, is buying KVP too late? No. Flegler sell, you can do. Thoughts on getting Carrigan and Chevy. Yes. Already have Hines. We're thinking of trading him for SJ. Don't do it, guys. Hines will come out and get an out outdo SJ this week. You watch. Can do. Uh, I think that's it, guys. That was fun. Questions, teams, you're all legends. Thank you so much for, for being a part of this channel. I absolutely love you guys. And uh, hopefully, we can get out there and uh, earn some money doing some cricket coaching. But looks like a strange one at the moment. I'm seeing complete blue on half of the sky here and then complete darkness on the other. So maybe it goes through and we can get out there. But um, yeah, good luck. With your trades this week, uh, all the videos have complete have been completed for Wednesday, which is great. I'll get the short one out later tonight as well, and we'll get that video with Scoop hopefully before I head off to the Gold Coast tomorrow. So I've got a lot of uh, videos to do here in the next couple of hours before we head off um, down down to Sydney after cricket. So there you go. Thanks for this. See you in the next one.